I am Warren Sprouse, host of the Sunday Night Bible Forum here on thebibleforum.net. We're here every Sunday night from 8 until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we talk about life and the Bible and circumstances and finances and all sorts of things. We're looking at life uh, through a biblical lens and solving all the world's problems in two hours or less. Today I wanted to talk to you about Lindsey Graham. We have an ongoing series here at the Bible Forum uh, because there is a website out there that is posting uh, five faith facts regarding each of the candidates as they have announced their candidacy. And tonight I wanted to talk to you and share with you what they're telling us about Lindsey Graham. Uh, he is being characterized in this article as a religious right spear carrier. Uh, he is as conservative, it says, in his politics as he is in his Southern Baptist beliefs. 59-year-old senator worships at Corinth Baptist Church in Seneca, South Carolina. He was educated uh, in his parents' pool hall and at church. He says, everything I know about politics I learned in the pool room. He told a group of New Hampshire business leaders earlier this year, uh, explaining his distrust of the Iranian nuclear deal, according to the Lexican, uh, Lexington Herald dealer. Um, he's passionate about religious freedom abroad. He's a member of the Senate Committee on Appropriations. He told Tony Perkins of the Family Research Council uh, that he wants to create, quote, a separate standalone section within our foreign assistance budget to deal with religious liberties, end of quote. He's a 30-year veteran of the Air Force, uh, just announced his retirement from there uh, as an attorney uh, with these folks. Uh, he's also uh, a staunch opponent of abortion. And according to this article, it's added beyond that is the word usually. In 2014, Graham earned a 100% rating from the National Right to Life Committee. But uh, that might shake, uh, shift, this, these folks are saying, in the wake of his vote to confirm Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who apparently has no such convictions. And it always wonders me when some of these representatives and senators vote for some of these people. I know they're saying, well, you know, the president has a right for, to get his own people, but my goodness. Uh, there is a line to be drawn. Do you want to fill the, the court uh, and the cabinet and, and all of this with people that are just going to turn us upside down? Um, I, I, could, I, have, I would have a hard time. I'd have to vote my conscience. I could not vote and say, well, you know, when we get in power, we want our guy, so we'll vote for your guy. No, 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 no. Number four says on church and state, he walks a fine line. I would add that he walks a fine line with a number of moral issues uh, because his mouth is not saved and it bothers me every time he does it. Sometimes it just is unnecessary and he throws it in there anyway. What is it about Christians today that can talk any way they want, drink anything they want, smoke anything they want, dress any way they like, watch anything they want, be as worldly as anybody you've ever met, but they're Christians. Have you ever thought about that? Uh, Graham said creating legislation that will protect religious freedom is a very strong part of his life. Uh, the one thing he says I will not tolerate is a national religion, even though I am a Christian, because that's counter to what we are as a people. The strength of this nation is that people can worship God on their own terms. I would add, why do we have to say that? We never said that before. We never said any of these things before. We believed them, we lived by them, but we never said them. Why are we saying them now? Because there is a group out there that is trying to paint us as religious fanatics, trying to establish uh, some form of a religious slash government system here merging church and state and calling it something. I don't know. They're doing that. There's not a Christian I've ever seen or heard of that's interested in anything like that. 
And now we have to come out and say, well, you know, I, I really wouldn't want to have a, 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 a state religion or a national religion. Nobody would. That's the whole point. Still, he's been rebuked by Theocracy Watch, a website devoted to combating the religious right for pushing legislation in 24 uh, that includes the acknowledgement of God as the sovereign source of law by an official in his capacity of executing his office. Did he do that? How dare he say things like that? Only the Declaration of Independence can say things like that. Only our founding fathers can say stuff like that. You can't say things like that. Where in the world do you think law comes from? It doesn't come from the average person walking down the street. We see them, don't we? They walk into churches and shoot people. You can't trust human beings to know what's right in that absolute sense of the word. Of course law has a sovereign source. It's called God. And everybody in the 18th century knew that. Everybody in the 19th century knew that. Most people in the 20th century knew that. He's also a zealot when it comes to defeating Hillary. We can give him a, a round of applause for that one. Lindsey Graham, love him or not, he's South Carolina senator. <laughs> 